this, this is a scary process like let's show me at um like day two like i mean i still look crazy but this levels are crazy item stored until the aircraft is parked at the gate we made it to amsterdam the the fast so we just made it to amsterdam we have like a 45 minute layover and then we're off to Turkey in Istanbul. So yeah, so this layover is gonna be quick. I feel like by the time we get through the gates and do what we gotta do, it's gonna be time to board the next flight, so yeah. All right, so I am in the airport and guess what I ran into? So you know I'm about to do a little bit of looking. I'm gonna just see if Irma's got some cute color sandals, something different. But yeah, I don't know where Christy is. I hear her, but our gate is up too. I told her. So she should be there soon. But yeah, it's a quick layover and a little shopping real quick. So we had to fill out another COVID form. So over COVID forms. Okay, we boarding the turkey. Huh? Christy got us to skip the line. <laughs> Bye, Amsterdam. All right, so we got to Turkey. We are here. We found out we need a visa. So I'm here getting the visa right now. I ain't gonna lie, I did not do a lot of research for this trip. It just kinda pulled up. All right, so we got the visa. I guess they stamped it somewhere on the passport. So yeah, so now I'm about to go meet Christy cause she's already through, you know, wheelchair life. <laughs> but yeah, so you just come over here, get your visa. And it took like literally like 30 seconds and it was only $30. So now I'm about to go through passport control. And um, yeah, we out and about. We already have a car service coming to pick us up. So I'll turn y'all in when the car service gets here. On our way to the hotel, we are staying at the Ritz Carlton Istanbul. So it's supposed to be really, really nice. It was between the Ritz Carlton or um, St. Regis and we went with the Ritz Carlton. Okay, now I can really get into the YouTube vibes. Our room is so cute. We got us a little Bosphorus. I think that's how you say it, Bosphorus Suite. I'm not exactly sure, but I think on the other side is Asia. And we're in Europe. Over here, you could take like little yachts and like boat rides and those type of things. So we'll try to figure that out. Today, we just chilling. Just getting acclimated. Might find something to do. We can't even smoke hookah. I guess. Bitch, I'm not. <laughs> That's you by yourself on that one. But we can have wine, champagne, and do those type of things. So, yeah. So it's up and it's stuck. <laughs> This makes it to YouTube. We're debating. I'm debating if I'm going to share this with you guys. So, the real reason we came to Turkey to get our noses done. Or, should I say my nose done? Are you ready to be out there? I mean, they're going to know. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to know it from me first before you. <laughs> all of a sudden, all them songs are going to be like, hey, <laughs> I'm crying. I'm crying. Okay, so we're trying to decide. I dragged my friend here to get some new job for me yeah. to help me. So it's a it's a team it's a team effort over here. See the before. 
I can't. This bitch is gonna be too much. I'm not ready. Well, anyway, yeah, so we are trying to decide, but I think I'm gonna do it because she was telling me that when you look at um, reviews for turkey for nose jobs, okay, well, let me start fresh. The doctors in Turkey are really, really known and they're good with doing ethnic rhinoplasty. You know, the United States, they be fucking people up, black people up, looking crazy. They be looking like, not like ourselves. But they're really good here. They have a lot of African clientele and a lot of girls fly from the States. So we decided to pop over and do it. So I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even told nobody. Christy's the only person that knows and uh, yeah, that's it. I ain't told nobody. Because <laughs> I know people gonna like, why, why? We ain't gonna get into all of that. You do what you want with your body to make you happy, and that's just that. So I think I'm gonna share with you guys, because I know there's a lot of other African American women that want to pop over to Turkey and get the same thing. Um, our sea lunch is Thank a you. pan and six. Yes, fine diamond for your girl. Okay, so now we are out to the palace. We're about to try to finesse, so we gonna see. Either the palace or the Four Seasons. They're next to each other, so we should be able to finesse the situation. We got in safely last night. The shisha was bomb. The vibes were bomb. So we are about to head over to our second hotel where we had dinner last night and have breakfast. So we're about to get dressed. It's like 9 a.m. We need to get there at least by 10 30 because breakfast is over at 11. So I will tune y'all in. We'll get in our taxi, Uber, whatever to um, breakfast. So yes, we love it in Turkey. It's not so much traffic today. Nice little vibe. So, we definitely gonna beat this traffic. We made it to breakfast. With 10 minutes. Right, with 10 minutes to spare. I got a fruit plate and some other stuff, but I just need something fresh. We've been eating kind of bad out here. Cheese plates at 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow's the big day. Yourself, man. <laughs> we'll never look the same again. Well, I want to look the same, just better. These vibes are very cute. This is our second hotel because our other hotel didn't have the vibe, so we had to hop one over to the Kapinski. 
we got a room here last night but we didn't stay we went back to the ritz because the ritz we had a nice suite and then came back here for breakfast and then we're going to spend the rest of the day here until the surgery place comes and gets us Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, my little shirt wrinkled. It's all right though, y'all seen a wrinkled shirt before. <laughs> we are leaving the Kapinski. Took advantage of our room. We finally came inside. We like, fuck it, we paid for it. You might as well come in, take a nap. So we came in here, had our bags, took a nap. And now we are off to our surgery hotel. Oh! I can't believe this is happening, y'all. We may never look the same again. In a good way, in a great way. But all right, so I'm gonna tell y'all when we get there. I really didn't show y'all the inside. So let me just show y'all. This is a really nice hotel. This is the Kempinski. This is where we caught the beach vibes, everything. The Ritz wasn't really much to show. But yeah, this is like a really nice, really, really nice hotel. So cute. So that's why we switched from the Ritz to here, as you can see, very cute surgery um hotel um it's like more inland and instable so our um bus is downstairs and it's supposed to take us to the hospital for our consultation and surgery today so good grace best wishes and everything and i will keep y'all updated on everything that's going on but yes today is the day may 26th all right, we are at the hospital. It's going down. So this is our home for the next 48 hours. All right, guys, so this is our room. There's one bed now, but there'll be two once we're finished. And we are here till tomorrow. I think we're here till tomorrow. This is home. The view has changed. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh okay. no. Not allowed. Can't do this part. How do I turn it off? Yeah. Yes. Who got me out here looking crazy? Anyway, we just got our IBs and our COVID test, and that was the most aggressive COVID test I ever had. Like my eyes started watering. I think it touched my brain. So now we just gotta finish the rest of our paperwork and um and a consultation with the doctor. Whew, it's getting real. Oh my god. <gasps> yes, this is scary. Two black eyes, but anyway, um, we are on day two. We had our surgery yesterday. I was too much in pain. Did not have the energy to talk at all. Today, I feel a little better. Got our third round of medicine. They give it to you in like this bag. It's not like pills or anything. So um, we're gonna leave out head back to our hotel, get discharged in a few hours, but for now we just, your hair just rusted. Just try to get it back. It, the nose is not the bad part, it's the red, that for me personally. Like my nose, I actually don't feel a thing, to be honest, I just can't breathe through my nose. I can only breathe through my mouth. But my rib is like what hurts, like what makes me move slow. Just my nose, I be just good, so yeah. Let's zoom in, y'all see. 
I feel like I got beat the fuck up, okay? So yeah, the night nurse was terrible. I'm not gonna lie to you, he ain't do shit. Christy was like bleeding from her nose and she needed to do covers. He, she asked him he would come back. But the day nurse, she good. She got to get like 6.30 this morning, change our sheets, um, fed us, changed our bandages, gave us medicine, so, you know. But that's pretty much it the experience. I would say, be aggressive, like ask for what you want. Cause when I first got in here, I was by myself. They were trying to ignore me. I opened the door, started screaming. I was not playing with the people. Like, uh, uh I need water. Cause I, my mouth was so dry at the surgery. And I had no water. Like my mouth was so dry, it hurt to like swallow. But yeah, so we should go see the process. I trusted it. We both trusted it. Cause, you know, I just hope these black guys is kind of gone. So I gotta get on a plane on Tuesday. Cause I would look crazy. It's one thing to have a mask. It's another thing to have two black eyes. Like, bitch, fuck you was wrestling in Turkey. So, all right, guys, I'll see y'all in. All right, guys, so they gave us all our beds. And we are now off to the hotel. We are discharged. When I say all our beds, I mean bags of medicine. Bags of medicine. This shit is maintenance. This is not an easy surgery. I don't care what people say. This is not an easy surgery. Like, it's definitely easier than lipo, but it's definitely harder than boobs. Boobs is a breeze. This shit is real. Day three. Eyes are super duper swollen. And it just sucks. But uh, we, we did eat, get up, eat breakfast, so big improvement. We took a walk as well. And yeah, now I'm about to um, ice for a little. And at like 12.30, hop in the shower. Um, uh, do all my little nose things. It's like spray, oil, and different things I need to do. So I'm going to do all that for the second time today. And then get back in bed till like four, then do a walk around four. So that's what's going on. Day three vibes. Oh Lord, what did I do to myself? The hotel food is a bad. I just been eating soups and salads. They have other options, but that's just what I've been on because I don't want to eat heavy. I was just sitting around doing nothing. Okay, so much better. So anyway, hey y'all, today is Sunday. Um, <laughs> clearly tomorrow's Monday and I'm getting my cast taken off. Um, I feel like I'm looking way better compared to where we started. Cause your friend was looking a little crazy. I was still looking crazy. I still look like it got hit by truck, but it's better. Like my eyes have gone down just put the cream on it you know the color is going down so it's been Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday it's been five days I'm drinking a lot of water though taking all my baths I'm taking very good care doing everything the doctors told me to do as far as my oil my spray my ointment I'm being very persistent because at the end of the day this is my face I need it back to where it was when we started this video I started this vlog so yeah so I will tell y'all tomorrow with the cast removal and then from there I get to go home I mean it'll be the my cab comes to get me at 1 a.m. which is like 6 p.m. y'all time so I ain't going to sleep I am ready to get home I can't wait this cast I'll be able to breathe because I have not been able to breathe through my nose for five days so yeah so looking crazy but I know I'm gonna be back it is gonna be amazing. <laughs> and we just gonna look back and be like, who cares? It was the struggle. Oh my gosh. I just wanna be back normal again. But anyway, today was good. Got the cast taken off, got taped down. Still very swollen, as y'all can see. Um, don't pay my nails on my like it's just a mess, it's getting real crackheady. Um 
he loved the results the doctor took off my gas he did really like the results and I'm, like i said it's definitely giving miss piggy it's still very swollen i got my silicone inside um at this point all we can do was just drink water eat well and heal so that's this is how i'm coming home but i i see that we definitely did come out on a better end. It was like another girl or whatever. They took her cast off. They had to put it right back on. She was still way too swollen or whatever. So, I guess I'm swollen, but she was very swollen. So, you know, it's very important with this surgery. She, I see her eating crazy the whole time. She eating mozzarella sticks, uh, salads with extra cheese, pasta. Like, yo, when you have a surgery, whether it's lipo, nose job, anything with swelling which is pretty much any surgery. Stay away from dairy products. Stay away from just any unhealthy food. Your body needs fuel to get out, get rid of that swelling and heal itself. So literally, I, like I told y'all, I've been eating salads, uh, chicken salads, um, pineapple juice, water. That's it, it's soup. Like that's, that's it. I haven't had any fried foods since I've been here. Um, I really been eating really really healthy. I want I want some salmon. I want some salmon and some veggies. I'm about to see like I'm about to have lunch and see if I can get that because I read salmon is really good for inflammation as well. But yeah, like you just gotta be healthy. What you put in your body with this is very important. So y'all know I do my health kicks. I'm really about to be on a health kick like because now is face and body. Body's the number thing. You gotta cover that up, throw a hoodie on. But now we talking about face. Yeah, I'm about to get real serious because I need my face back. And I got a trip in two weeks, y'all. This Instagram post y'all see for the trip ought to be so funny because I'm. it's going to be giving, but it's going to be real face covered. And it's going to be like, okay, she's giving. Like, <laughs> I'm hiding, but yes. So either way, though, um, so far, so good for five days post-op. I can't ask for really any much more, you know, the shape, the side, um, the side is given, the no needs to fall, um, cause right now it's like more turned up. I don't know if I can tell, but it's giving a turn up or whatever, but it's a nice side profile. Um, and yeah, so we still looking crazy, but we came a long way. So this is day five. So, um, I go home tonight. I'll check in with y'all when I go home. And maybe I'll check in, like, I guess maybe, like, day day 10. We'll do, like, day 10, 15. We'll do a bank increment to 5. You know, because y'all don't want to see me on here every day. But y'all start to see results. Especially a day I feel like my skin just, woo, popped out and got clear. I pop in for y'all. So, yeah. We did a thing in Turkey. Hey, guys. So, it is day 10. It's been 10 days since I got my rhinoplasty. Not looking so bad. Like, I don't want to show you guys. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm still swollen. I still can't smile all the way. Um, my nose still looks a little crazy, but great improvement. So, I just wanted to show y'all, keep y'all updated what's going on. This is day 10. 10 days since I got my rhinoplasty. It is, um... Friday, June 2nd, I believe. I don't know the date. June Derming. I don't know. It's Friday. And I got it last Wednesday, May 26th. So here we are. A little zoom in. My face is, my skin is going up a little crazy, but not so bad. Not, we came a long way. So just wanted to tune y'all in. And I will come back around, let's say we'll go back in like day 15 or whenever this is completely gone. I'll let y'all know when that's gone completely. All right, bye. All right, guys. Probably gotta turn the camera up so y'all can get all the angles of what I'm giving. This is um, three weeks post-op. So day 21. I last posted y'all day 10. Um, within this time, I have taken off my tape. I no longer wear my tape. Um, my stitches are, sorry, to, it's nasty, but like if you're watching, either you're, you want to know or you're interested, so you need to see what you're giving. So you're giving stitches out the nose. I wear my mask everywhere because of that. I haven't been going anywhere. I went on a vacay. 
<laughs> and some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all came for me. Like, let me do what I want to do with my face. Thank you. But anyway, um, I took side pictures. No fronts, so because clearly the front is giving piggy. The side is giving piggy too, but it's like, whatever. I wanted to show my looks. Anyway, so yeah, so the tape is off. Um, black eyes are pretty much gone. I still do have darkness around my eyes, so I mean, I'm just dealing with that. Like I said, I haven't been going nowhere, so I'm really, at this point, I'm just trusting the process. So my friends who have gotten it done have told me two months to start looking back to how I feel comfortable. Um, all I can say with this is that you have to have a really strong sense of yourself because if you don't, this can be very depressing. I've never been the type of person not to like how I look when I look in the mirror. But at this point, I do not like how I look. When I look in the mirror, I still can't utterly smile. Like, I'm getting there. It's better. Ooh, my dimple's coming back. Y'all just noticed that, like, that was one thing I'm like, my dimple was going. Okay, so my dimple was coming back. Hey, and um, yeah, it's three weeks, so you know I'm a, I, I'll do better. I'll check in weekly. I should have gave y'all more of like I gave y'all ten days and it's twenty one days. So I'll try to remember maybe check in. At I guess we'll do a twenty five days and then a thirty. The thirty is like I feel like thirty. We're gonna start from the beginning and just look. But yeah, so I think I've decided I'm going to go ahead and give y'all this just because I feel like a lot of girls want to do it and you know, you're scared and you don't know and that's how I was. I actually made, I'm going to say I made an acquaintance from this, like a girl I reached out to on IG. She lives in Atlanta. Matter of fact, shout out to Tiggy. I post her IG and she had got it done and we literally went to the same doctor and she really she really helped get me through this like literally girl don't worry i'm telling you i went through the same thing because this is a scary process like let's show me at um like day two like i mean i still look crazy but this loves the crazy i could walk out in the street you know if you don't know me you won't know that i got all this shit going on but day two i look like who done it and why and why what did you do to get your ass beat that way so either way, we're just going to um, sit here and just see the process. So yeah, the Javante fight is next weekend. Not making that. Wanted to vlog that weekend. It's not happening. I'm not coming outside like this. You know what it is? If the, it was like a common thing, like getting your body done. Like, you know how we could walk outside with our fajas on and stuff like that. But with this shit, it's like, you can be explaining to everybody. Like... What's wrong with your nose? Why you look like that? You got like, well, it's healing and it's swollen and it has to go down and the two months is gonna look right. Like, you know what, if I, you got your body on everybody, oh, you got your body done, it's nothing. But this shit, you gotta explain it so much, not overseas, cause overseas, we was walking around with our bandages, everything. Nobody said nothing. Like, people just like, oh my God, who did you go to? They was hype. <laughs> it was hype for us, but here it's like, fuck is wrong with your face? And I get it, because if I know about it too, I'll be saying the same thing. Like, you paid to look like that? So I get it. But you know, you don't want negativity about your face. You know, you just want to just heal peacefully. And I'm so glad I did it with somebody, one of my best friends. And we're just healing peacefully together and just laughing about it. So that's my spiel. My 21 day, three week spiel. You know what? I'm going to get back at y'all in a week. Five days not enough for a week. But yeah, so we here. We made it back from Turkey. We're doing well. We are healing properly. I did drink on vacation. I shouldn't have, but I'm not gonna drink again. Not until 4th of July. And then yeah. Oh, and the date. What's today's date? Got the surgery May 26th. Today's date is June 18th. And here we are. Hey guys, so it has been a while. I always need to check in, but you know, life. And then since I'm not vlogging consistently, it goes over my head. But today we are seven weeks post-op. So this is side view, frontal view, side view. Um, 
I am starting to like how the results are coming. Still giving a little cartoon character, but it is definitely better than what it was before. I do have one stitch right here. Do you have one stitch left? Okay, shout out to my teeth. <laughs> But yeah, so um, still have the darkness, the dark circles around my eyes. But yes, we are definitely coming along. I'm definitely starting to love the side profile. It's giving. But yes, and it's not so onky piggy. So we're at seven weeks. Um, like I said, keep saying it takes eight to 12, some people six, seven months to see the results they like. I'm not bothered anymore. I'm not insecure about it, but I do. I can't wait to see like how it looks when it really settles in like six months from now. Probably gonna put this out. I feel like I said two months. I might put this out three months post stop just to really give y'all full results. I feel like 12 weeks will really show you. But these dark circles definitely gotta go away. And that's where we are with it. So seven weeks post-op, no job, but it's definitely coming along. Cause woo child, y'all remember the beginning? It was not uh, it was not fun. So I'm gonna try to do weekly check-ins from now on, so y'all see every phase. So I'll check back in at eight weeks post-op. And there's that. Yeah, I still can't smile. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye. Hey guys. So I just wanted to come back again and show you guys the closest i can show you for this vlog um the four month results four month process whatever you want to call it, for the my rhinoplasty so 16 weeks later here i am i think today is september 20th so in six days i will literally be four months completely straight and um we have seen a lot of improvement the only thing like i said this bottom has to go down a little and um my lip has to come back a little bit other than that i am loving my results i'm very happy and i mean at the end of the day that's all that matters you have to be happy with your results but it's definitely giving skin is giving at one point i don't know if i spoke on this it was all super oily right here while it's healing but i'm so excited to um see what six months gives and i will do a um blog on six months and kind of show you guys what it's giving but yes i am super happy with my results like i really am i really really am and i know for those of you who've been following me a very long time i know it's weird i know i've seen um comments like why did you do that and you were fine but it's something i wanted to do and i love it for me and i think that if you support me wholeheartedly it shouldn't matter to you because we still gonna get the vibes we still gonna get the bomb content we still gonna travel the world whether my nose is like this or how it was before so it's okay y'all but yeah the only thing like i said that i'm ready i can't wait for it to um go down is this middle part it just needs to drop a little more and i want my lip to come back i want my lip to come back that's the only thing, but it's coming back. I know it's coming back. It just takes time. By six months, my full top lip will be normal again. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope it was informative. And I hope you'll be back for more. Because it's my birthday month. Let me turn it up. So much I have for y'all. I'm so excited. We're back on YouTube. It's back popping. Um, follow me on Instagram, Chloe5050. Or YouTube, Chloe5050. Everything is Chloe5050.